Hey guys, welcome to Gallup Gardens, where uh, we try and help you, help us, you know, join us on the way. We're growing better food on a budget. Um, we're using reclaimed and recycled stuff. And, uh, we're in zone 7B. Uh, it's late September, so it's actually 91 degrees today. It's still pretty warm. And uh, we're just, uh, you know, shelling our okra here, uh, getting a few seeds uh, for next year. Um, we're also dressing the beds today, so we're adding a top dressing onto the beds and then we're going to plant the rest of our fall vegetables and all of our good stuff. Um, and we'll have to do a little tour uh, before it's all said and done because our radishes are coming up and our carrots and our winter greens are coming up in our uh, flower beds and, and things like that. So, um, yeah, like and subscribe, you know, and uh, put in the comments if you have questions. What do you got, Jade? You got anything you want to say? You're okay? You want to tell them how to get the seeds out of okra? Have you learned any secrets? Yeah, you can't use scissors if you uh, get the okra out of okra. Yeah, you gotta puny. use them. You're not puny. They're just stuck on there really good. So we kind of let the okra go. Uh, some of it's still good. Let me show you. Let's see. That's it. The squash bugs have been real bad on everything, the stink bugs. But yeah, still got some good purple okra. Yeah. Uh, but we let a lot of it go to seed, so we're going to have a ton of okra next year. A ton of okra. Hmm. You know what's worse than finding a worm in your okra? Half a worm. Finding half a worm! Blech. Stay tuned. So here's what we're transplanting today. Uh, these are mustard greens. Uh, this did not thrive at all. I think it was a spinach. Um, and then we have one little spinach here that did. This is that uh, Celtius. It's the lettuce that has the, uh, the really tall and the thick stems, the South Asian variety. Uh, we got two little bitty guys, and these are two little Brussels sprouts. And then, ooh, what do we have? We have a little bit of arugula. Um, what's the third one? I don't know. Uh, let's see, mustard, spinach. It's another green. And then we have the arugula behind it. Um, so anyway, we're going to plant it all. Uh, we're going to kind of segregate it by bed just so we can keep it all together and uh, we'll see what happens you know all right guys we're gonna put the uh, the spinach in that looks like a brussels sprout i think we got a baby brussels sprout right there or not the spinach but the, the mustard we're gonna put the mustard green And I think we're going to move that spinach to a, a more shady bed that still has um, some tomatoes growing in it or some sweet potatoes or something where it's kind of it's still shaded. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. So we kind of got the, the water hose located, the soaker hose. One, two, three, four, five. You got more than that, though. And if I recall from my youth, mustard gets pretty big and gets pretty peppery. So we'll try to be careful with that. I was talking with Madison. And we're talking about how it's kind of interesting. See if I can separate these guys, just tease them apart. Look at that. It's got some good roots right there. But how it's interesting that salads and greens are almost a summer food. 
Um, but they grow so well in the cold and in the winter. There's a little wasp there. Oh, yellow jack, get out of here. Time to eat salads is in the summer, right? But the time to grow them is in the cold. It's pretty interesting. This was our green bed in the spring, and it really did well. And I know that we should, you know, crop rotation and all that kind of stuff, but I think it's going to be fine. These were the beds that were filled with um, the uh, repossessed grow house with the soil from that and then with the organic compost and all that. So we got a lot of good stuff going on in here. Also the worm bed with the uh, verma composting system. Oh, wow. This might take a little bit of care. One. Come here. Okay. Two. There. And I'm not sure what this plant is. Um, this is probably a moonflower. And if it is, <laughs> if it starts to put out some tendrils, I'm going to pull it up. There we go. Get you in your new home. Feel like Happy Gilmore, you know? Just go to your home! These will be good. It's just one guy, so it'll be a little easier. There you go, little guy. Okay. Oh yeah, this will be the mustard bed. Ooh, look at me. Okay. Um, put one there. How many do we got? We got one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, oh yeah, here's some soaker hose. One here. <clears throat> put one here. Soaker hose. And I don't know what this is. It looks like sweet potato. Maybe one here. Why not? And then one right in here. mustard seeds, we got them from Baker Creek, and they have a really high germination rate. I was really pleased with that. Um, some of the seeds I planted did not sprout at all. We're going to wait and see maybe if they cool off or when it cools off if they, if they come on up. I'll just keep them to the side and keep watering them.
least as it did come up. Winter comes and the cold comes. Oh, I do not remember what this is. This is a candy striped, um, mm, maybe a zinnia. But it'll die off. I need to pick them and uh, add them as little uh, boutonnieres for my daily work clothes. All right. So here we have um, spinach. I believe that this little guy is corn salad. I'm gonna try and just plant him, plant him all the way in. Little bitty guy there. And oh, I do not know what this is. This might be a Brussels sprout. We'll just plant him and see. We'll let him go, see what happens with him. Um, and then you see our Brussels sprouts. Look at these guys. Uh, caterpillars got them pretty good. Um, the tomatoes overtook them a little bit. What we're waiting on is, or what I'm waiting on, I'm gonna wait and see what the cold does. Um, the cold is supposed to uh, sweeten them up, make them a little nicer. And while these guys down here at the bottom, one or two are good. We got some bad guys. Let's see what happens. Um, let the cold sweeten them up. Let the cold knock the pest pressure down and see how they develop and uh, see what happens before we go ahead and harvest them. Soaker hose is bleeding there. This is spinach. I don't think spinach likes to be transplanted, so we'll just uh, see. Hopefully, I didn't shock it too much. Probably right here in the middle. We'll do this corn salad. Let's see how it does. And there's that soap rose. Little, uh, little roly poly running off there. Brussels sprout. So what had happened was um, the Brussels sprout grew and then the tomatoes overtook it and they overshadowed it and they killed it. And it's trying to start off a side shoot like a like a tree sap. So I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm gonna see if he can get enough light. See if he can recover from the shock. I hope he can. Um, and the rest of them will die and decompose and uh, hopefully feed the rest of the plant. You know, this is a brassica. It's a heavy nitrogen feeder. So I want to make sure that I fertilize uh, with a good liquid nitrogen fertilizer, uh, something organic, you know, all that good stuff. Because um, this bed has been fed or has been drained heavily. Um, I did plant some sweet peas along the side here, well, not sweet peas, but these purple pole beans. And the idea is that they'll inject the nitrogen via nitrogen fixer. But I mean, with the tomatoes, with these nightshades growing, and then with these barascas growing, I'm sure this bed has lost a lot of nutrition. So we'll definitely be uh, topping this off with a fertilizer, uh, something to go on top, and then probably with a liquid uh, fertilizer to, to really penetrate in there and help these guys out. All right, we're gonna get these guys planted in. And here, I'm not 100% sure, oh my, they're all tangled, um, what these greens are. That's grass. 
I can't remember. They're not mustard. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. them apart. Oh, there's four in here. Hang on, little guy. Let me drop you in here. Oh, this is the collards. I love collards. So we're going to have to make some space, too, because they they get really big. Just really big. in there. Hopefully this doesn't shock them too much. Nope, lost a leaf. When I first met Madison, um, well, I first met her in the fall, but one of the things we did was we had a uh, New Year's Eve dinner and I invited her over so I'm gonna cook for you and I made collard green southern style for pork chops cornbread and when you make southern styles collard greens you're uh, I think I did a whole cooking video on that right um, but it's a little bit of apple cider vinegar Chopped ham, it's some bacon, it's got some bacon grease in it, all kinds of good stuff. And that's another, you know, we was talking a minute ago, greens are like a summer food. You think about that when you're eating your uh, your salad greens and your things like that. But uh, collard greens is a is a warm dish. And eating it fresh, you know, when you when you think about eating spinach out of a can. It's just awful. You know, I don't know any kid that enjoys that. But when you're having fresh, hot collard greens, there's something just so fortifying, soul warming about it. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a melon. It's a little tiger melon that's ew. Um, let's see. Collars get huge, too. That's the, the thing to remember. Um, so they have a whole bed of collards. Um, let's see. Put one here. Put one here. I'm trying to get all these in right now. Um, because the rains are coming. In a couple days. We have had two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. I don't know. We've had a long dry spell. So if we can get these guys in. And then the rains will hit. And the soaker hose will help. Be really good for you. Get these guys teased apart. Oh, 
We're gonna need a lot of collards. <laughs> a lot of collards. Did I miss one? I don't think so. Okay, we'll move this to another bed. collards in the neighboring bed over here. I think we got three of them. We'll see how they fare. I should have thinned them probably. Let them, you know, not have so much competition. But I thought I'll let them grow and I'll separate them and see how they do. It's got a good root structure to it, so I think it'll be pretty good. What else do I got here? Arugula! These guys are super fine. So um, in the spring I mulched with the wood chips. I am concerned that what's going to happen is that these wood chips are going to absorb the nitrogen because I mulched over them with compost. You see it, there's a whole layer of it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll just see. Um, which means I'll probably have to, uh, you know, just fertilize it a good nitrogen first. Probably a liquid one to get down in there. This guy I'm gonna just throw a pot in because it's Let's see if we can tease this guy. I don't know how well arugula transplants. We're worried about it. We'll, uh, we'll just see. Hang in there, little dudes. I bought uh, a breeze bed mix, threw it in here. I also mixed it with um, a manure, and I don't feel like that manure was very well broke down. It smelled like poo. <laughs> it looked like cow poo. Um, so I'm hoping we don't burn them up either. Of these guys. Stick some there. Stick some here and stick some. We'll just 
see how they fare. What else we got? Mm. Two different plants. This guy right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. This is a Brussels sprout, a purple Brussels sprout. This might be a zinnia. Very possible. So. We'll plant him next to this. So, I can be guided up that trellis. And if it's a zinnia, I'll probably call it. put you here see what happens see what you are get right in there there you go little guy get that grass okay it's pretty exciting and now we've got that uh, southeastern South Asian lettuce um, that grows the really tall stems. Um, what do we got here? One, two, three? Probably three. Good spot. Good spot. Good spot. This is that Krilobi thing. Look at that. We still haven't harvested that. Bud, move home, move home, move home. I hope these guys do well. Put you guys right in there. little guy. There you go. What do we got here? Three of them. I'm curious to see how tall they get. This guy, he's going to be hurting. We'll see if he makes it. There you go, there, guys. I'll just hang in there. A lot of them. Oh, 
hope these guys make it. They have a... They all do. Uh oh. Had to leave. Okay. Looking good. We have another Brussels sprout. We'll get him moved over here. Last little Brussels sprout. There we go. We'll put him in the Brussels sprout bag. See how big he gets. Two of them. Let's see if we can just uproot it. Okay, guys. Uh, we've got everything planted almost. Uh, we got our winter herbs coming in, our little seedlings. You get one last little uh, flush of them. Uh, before the, the cold kills them. Got a little rosemary there. Uh, this didn't produce that well. Um, we got a few weeds. And the marigolds. Here they come. So, but we got a few, a few little guys coming in. We'll see how they fare. Pumpkins. Got our salad greens and they're really coming in. Uh, we interplanted our salad greens in the front bed here. Which one's the weed? That one's the weed. Um, and as the winter kills off these guys, the, the greens will come in and they'll look really nice. The moms are starting to do their thing, put on their show. Got a uh, what do we have here? We've got carrots going on here. We've got uh, the cell two stuff. I'm gonna plant some garlic in here later today in between the rows. Uh, we got the turnips. Turnip! Uh, got the peppers. Soon we'll crop these guys down and uh, get them ready for winter. But not for a little while yet. Look at that beauty. Mmm. Super sweet. Got the asparagus. A little butterfly. Uh, strawberries are burnt up. Not many made them. We'll replant next year. Looks like the asparagus is going to seed. These are our beets now. Pulled up all the flowers, planted some beets, so, and right in here nothing's coming up, so I'm probably going to plant um, broccoli. Sweet potatoes everywhere, right? I'm checking on our transplants. The heat's kind of burning them a little bit. This is the arugula. I did just water, so. These look uh, night and day different from about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> 10 minutes ago, they were all like perky looking. So the heat's really coming on, kind of laying them down. So we'll see what happens. Hope that the water helps. Um, these are the collards. Nothing in this bed. I want to seed it with something. The tomatoes. But yeah. Everything is looking pretty good. I think most is going to make it. Question. If you know, see how this guy's coming up here on the side? You think I can cut him off and get a whole other Brussels sprout out of him? I don't know. 
Well, hey guys, if you made it this far, thanks. Um, please like and subscribe. Please, uh, you know, give us a comment. Let us know how we're doing. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this wrong? You know, first year. So far, it's going okay. All right, till next time.